I've had my new Windows 10 micro PC. It's a little computer that you can hold in the palm of your hand. Uh, anyway, I was able to buy it for $135, and it's an Intel CPU. But anyway, a uh, couple things I wanted to show you. On the HD Home Run View, um, it was showing, it shows channels that I've got masked out and told it not to show. I, I'm, this is something I just noticed, and it used to work okay, like 48. Uh, it did not show that before, and I've got it masked out. 48, uh, 6. Oh yeah, 14. 14, all those, I had those masked out. And channel 6, I got that masked out. And it still shows up, so I'm not sure why. Uh, but one thing about this uh, HD Home Run View, uh, running under this uh, Windows 10, actually it's working pretty good. And I do get Dolby Digital. I know some people said that you don't, that they're not, they don't have Dolby Digital on this uh, uh, view from Windows, but I got it. Don't know why, but I got it. But anyway, uh, now if I go to the Windows Explorer, actually it's one of the new uh, internet browsers from uh, Windows 10. Anyway, when I go to the myhomerun.com to check on the uh, uh, channels, it says network access prohibited. Your browser is preventing detection of HD Home Run. Blah, blah, blah. I have no idea why. And since, since Windows 10 is brand new to me, I don't know. But the last one I'm using is Windows 7 on my desktop. And that's one of the reasons I really bought this thing. One well, of the few reasons I bought it. Uh, before I transitioned my Windows 7 over to Windows 10, I wanted to get an idea of what it's like. So for 135 bucks, I couldn't go wrong. Gives me an opportunity to check out uh, Windows 10 without messing up my main uh, computer on my desk. But anyway, as you can see here, I'm just using my uh, uh, internet address or the network address to my uh, tuner, one of my tuners, it shows that six point one's masked out. They're all masked out. However, they still show up under HD Home Run View. Uh, but anyway. Uh, the AC Home Run View, it seemed to play very well. And again, uh, a lot of people were complaining, which me too, I can't see very well. You can't read these from setting, you know, 10 feet away. You just can't read them, they're small. Now, however, I'm going to close that out. But however, if you go into uh, Cody, if you go into Cody, it's much bigger. Now using this, I use, instead of using my mouse, I use my little $15 alphanumeric remote. It works very well on it. Uh, now here is their, uh, view out it running inside Cody and see how much larger these are you can see these and read them from your couch so I really like that but again um, again this works really good on the um, uh, Cody so I'm looking to see now it appears that those channels that I have marked out, oh, that's 48, that showed up. It appears uh, they're gone. Let me see if channel 6 is still there. Or the 14s, channel 14, I got those mad. No, 14s are gone, which is good. Channel 6 is gone, which is good. So uh, it works on Cody. I'm not sure why it doesn't uh, work on the uh, view app inside um, I'm not sure why it doesn't work on the view app inside the uh, Windows 10 operating system uh, but again here's the uh, here's the recordings my scheduled recordings actually these are the re completed recordings 
as you can see, I, I like watching the old ones. However, I record them, I haven't even taken the time to, to watch them. Some of the newer programs that are out now, uh, Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Madam Secretary, uh, Quantico. So I am recording some of those. Uh, and there again, there's a guide, and there's the recording rules. So I think everybody's familiar with that. So, But anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview of this and show you some of the problems that I'm having uh, running under uh, Windows 10. So, Okay, thank you very much for watching.